One, welcome to the Patrick Theater, and thank you for coming out on this crummy night. Uh, I'm actually pleased to see as many of you out there as there are because I, I know that some a lot of people that were coming have probably stayed home because of the rain. That's unfortunate. My name is Susan Berner of Sue B Productions, and I co-produce several shows a year with Patchogue Theatre. As you all probably know, this used to be a vaudeville house, and it is now owned by the village of Patchogue. It's a non-for-profit theatre, and so what I do is I, I do community-based shows, and um, this is the first one of the year. This is our adult talent show. The last two years it was different talents. This year it is just a singing competition. And uh, we'll see how that goes. I'd like your feedback if you think we should go back to a regular talent show or if you like the singing. Um, before we begin, I'd just like to tell you about the other two shows that I'm producing this year. We're going to try something brand new in March. It's called Choral Extravaganza. It's inspired by the shows Glee and the Sing Off on TV. And I have invited several high school select choirs to join us for that evening. So it's going to be a showcase, not a competition. So I hope you will all come out and see that because it's a brand new thing we're trying out. And on April, oh that will be March 2nd. On April 27th is the ninth annual student talent show, which is called Starshine. It's hard to believe I've been doing this for nine years, but for the first seven we did only Patchogue Medford students. And now, last year we opened it up to all of Long Island. We had kids, 94 acts came and auditioned. All the way from Levittown, Wontaw, up to Smithtown, out to East Quag. And it was a wonderful night, just loaded with youth talent. This year, the third year in a row, this theater has won the Long Island Press uh, annual Best of Long Island contest for the best live theater on Long Island. Three years in a row. Mm -hmm. MC. Somewhere I have information. She needs a podium. You can read this, but I'm going to read it anyway. Bobby Governale is not only a very good friend of mine, he's a retired music teacher from the Patrick Medford mm -hmm. School District. He's an accomplished entertainer with many years of experience as a singer, pianist, DJ, and actor. His entertainment company is called Robert Anthony Music. His acting credits include TV's Who's the Boss, Teach, and A&E's biography show with Tony Danza. He's a Mr. Entertainer, we call him. He's just wonderful, and I'm so glad he's emceeing for us tonight. So, without further ado, I would like to introduce our MC for the evening, Bobby Governale. Thank you. Right. Thank you, Sue. Is she fabulous or what? Sue B Entertainment! Yeah, and I'll tell you what, this is the place to be here tonight because we got some wonderful entertainers. But you know, just a little bit about our historic Patro Theater of Performing Arts. Uh, it was built in 1923. And my father-in-law was born in 1923, by the way. Uh, it's kind of a very historic place. It opened up with Broadway musical, concerts, John Philip Sousa, and all kinds of wonderful things. Then, of course, it made a transition during the Depression, and it became a place for sing-alongs and, and bingo and things like that. In 1997, it had a rebirth. It looks just the way it is today. And, of course, they have such great concerts and, and all kinds of symphonic uh, uh, shows. The Atlantic uh, Symphony. Uh, Mickey B's doo-wop shows, and of course his disco shows, comedy and dance. But ladies and gentlemen, right now we want to get our show started. And uh, how about a nice round of applause for all the wonderful people here. Give yourselves a nice round of applause, ladies and gentlemen. And our first vocalist, Mr. Ernie Cannabach. Ernie is a senior assistant town attorney for the town of Islip and has been singing for about 30 years. He performs for all kinds of charitable fundraisers, holiday parties, bar mitzvahs, you name it. He sings the style of Sinatra, Tony Bennett, Perry Como. He's here tonight to do a beautiful tune from Cabaret, maybe this time. How about a warm welcome for Mr. Ernie Canada? Yeah.
The incomparable Tony Bennett, just shortly after his 85th birthday, appeared at the London Palladium. One of the songs he sang was attributed to Liza Minnelli. I hope you like it. Maybe this time I'll be lucky Maybe this time she'll stay Maybe this time For the first time Love won't hurry She will hold me fast I'll be home at last Not a loser anymore Like the last time and the time before Everybody loves a winner So nobody loves me Mr. Peaceful Mr. Happy That's what I long to be Senior America in 2012, and she's living her long life dream of being a singer. Donna has started with senior New York volunteers at a nursing home uh, with the Senior New York Cameo Club. She currently sings at local restaurants. She is proud mother and grandmother, and she does an incredible mean Lindy hop. Ladies and gentlemen, let's have a nice warm welcome for Donna Dean. What did I have? I don't have now. Yeah, Donna. I don't have 
what did I lose? The sweet one that goes. What did I do that I don't do the way I did? Yet you're my 
Your figure less than Greek? Is your mouth a little weak? When you open it to speak, are you small? Long Island. And her last theatrical performance was at the Merrick Stage, Merrick Stage Theater, and she was casted in Evita. Liza has traveled and performed with a five-piece female doo-wop group, the Dell Angels, originating from New Jersey and performing in the tri-state area. Performing a classic rock blues song written by Fred Foster and Chris Christopherson, which was released in January of 1971, that's 43 years ago today. This song stopped the charts after Janis Joplin, of course, passed away. How about a warm welcome? Me and my Bobby McGee, Liza Paradise! <laughs>
up to bring out the jack, man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. you, what, you know, once again, we got to welcome you all. And uh, you all kind of came out in spite of the polar vortex. <laughs> yeah, this is the first Saturday of the polar vortex. You know, this week it was so cold, the polar bears in the Bronx Zoo weren't allowed out. <laughs> Matter of fact, the teenagers are starting to wear their pants back up. <laughs> hey, by the way, our next performer, Liza Polizzi. Uh, Lisa Polizzi, rather. Lisa was one of the three winners last year at the Pizzazz Show. She sang at the Patrick Theater prior to that for Mickey's B's Disco Show in 2011. She was, uh, she was just voted one of the top three vocalists on Long Island in the Long Island Press 2013 Best of Long, Island's Long Island Section. She recently put together her own band, the Liza Polizzi Band, and she's going to sing a great tune called Unchained. Melody. Ladies and gentlemen, a warm welcome for Lisa Pulisi.
Guns N' Roses. For 11 years, Jack was the lead singer for the Judas Priest tribute yeah. band, Exciter. The singer was, uh, singing was not an original passion. He was a, a drummer originally at the age of 10, and currently plays drums for the Leonard Skinner tribute band, Freebird. Tonight he's gonna to be doing a great Roy Orbison tune called Crying. How about a warm welcome for Mr. Jack Fontana Jr. Thank you. I was all right for a while. I could smile for a while. When I saw you last night, you held my hand so tight when you start to say no. You wished me well. In addition, Portia has appeared at the Apollo, Sweetwaters, and the Village Gate. She continues to develop her vocal technique with world-renowned vocal coach Andrew Furson, a graduate of the Juilliard School and a member of the New York City Opera. Tonight, Portia is going to perform Midnight Train to Georgia. Going back to find, going back to find, and simple play. 
with them. Oh! Uh -huh. 
Johnson and her accompanist, Karen. Yeah. Tell you what, as we're getting rid of that piano, everybody clap your hands to this beat. Here we go. Come on, one, two. <laughs> come fly with me. Come on, let's fly away. If you can use some exotic booze, there's a bar in Oh, Bob. Yeah. All right, the next guy. That's coming up, ladies and gentlemen, reminds me of that song. His name is Frankie Falabella. Of course, he's a pilot. He's been a pilot for 36 years. He flies a Cessna 172. But more than that, he's really a wonderful guy who works so hard in his music. He performs all over the island. And I tell you what, he has put so many shows together with all, but quite a few of the people here tonight. He has a heart of gold. He's going to sing a great tune called You Make Me Feel So Young. Ladies and gentlemen, let's give it up to Frankie Falabella. Yeah. yeah! Thank you, Bobby. You know where you come. You make me feel so young. You make me feel like spring is sprung. And every time I see you grin, I'm such a happy individual the moment that you speak. I want to run and play hide and seek. I want to go and bounce the moon just like a toy balloon. Get me nuts. You make me feel so young. You make me feel there are songs to be sung. Bells to be wrong. A wonderful thing to be flung. And as long as we're old and gray, I want to feel the way I do today. Because you make me feel so young. feel like spring is sprung And every time I see you grin I'm such a cuckoo Individual the moment that you speak I want to run and play hide and seek I want to go and bounce the moon Just like a toy balloon There are songs to be sung, lots of bells to be rung, a wonderful flame to be flung. And even when I'm old and gray, I'm gonna feel the way I do today because you make me feel so. Man, I just feel so. Hey, our next uh, entertainer, Cherie M.C. Elder, is a composer, songwriter. Gotta take a little time 
Just one voice singing in the darkness. All it takes is one voice singing so they hear what's on your mind. And when you look around, you'll find there's more than one. Yourself so far? Yeah! Alright. Well, it's halftime. 
actually it's just intermission, ladies and gentlemen, so enjoy uh, some of the food and drinks here. We'll be right back. Don't go away. It's very exciting to me. So we have Leah and a couple of her band members behind me here. Oh, that's great. I just want to remind you, she's a two-time Hollywood finalist in American Idol. And her smoky, jazzy style has made her a popular singer at various venues on Long Island. And she's currently getting ready to release her second CD. She's yeah. going to sing a song from that CD. I'm going to let her take over now. Ladies and gentlemen, Leah Laurenti. Hi, everyone. How's everybody doing tonight? Thanks for coming out to support your family and friends at the talent show this year. I know what it's like to stand on a stage, and I know it's very intimidating at times. So, congratulations to all of you that have auditioned and made it here. And um, I guess whether you win or lose, it's not really about that. It's just about that you have the opportunity to do what you love and stand on a beautiful stage and sing and be happy. So I hope you guys are enjoying the night. This is one of my original songs. Uh, piano player here is Frank Gonzalo. He's my producer, co-songwriting partner. We actually wrote this song together, and guitarist tonight is uh, one of the best on Island that I personally know, is Russ Amundsen. So I hope you guys like this song. It's called Back and Down. Yeah. 
How's everybody doing? Oh yeah. Wow. I tell you what, man, we, we got some wonderful entertainers here tonight. This this is like an amazing show. So I, I really realize you feel lucky tonight, am I correct? Yes. That's nice. Well, we're going to keep the luck going, ladies and gentlemen, because we have a wonderful uh, lady here, Barbara Fisher, who was born in Greenpoint, Brooklyn, New York. And for as long as she can remember, uh, music has been a huge part of her life. Barbara had uh, an old girls band at the age of 14, and her dad was her biggest fan. He encouraged her to keep the music playing in her life and in her heart. And even though he's gone, she still sings to him. She's still going to do a great tune by Miss Connie Francis, where the boys are. How about a warm welcome for this? Bob Fisher. Oh, okay. She couldn't be more excited about actually getting on stage tonight right here at the Patrick Theater, where she has grown up so many performances that she dreamt of being part of. So ladies and gentlemen, a warm welcome. Stephanie Walsh, someone like you. You got the wrong book, it's in here. Thank you. 
sweetest young ladies, and she still is. Aww. Give her a nice round of applause. Wow. Hey, our next guy, you gotta give us a big yee-haw, everybody on the count of three. One, two, three! Yeah! Oh yeah, you're ready. You're ready for Jim Sims, ladies and gentlemen. He's 51 years old. He's married to his wife, Kathy, for 26 good years. Great years, he said. He has grown three grown sons named Jimmy, Kyle, and Travis. He is a grandfather of a beautiful four-year-old granddaughter Aww. named Anastasia. Jim enjoys country music, bicycling, motorcycle riding, karaoke singing, and spending a lot of time with family and good friends. His greatest accomplishment in life are his family and work as a custodian for Eastern Suffolk Boses for 31 oh, years. He met and sang for his idol Bob Brooks almost 20 years ago. <laughs> Jim has been a volunteer fireman for the six, for 16 years at Ridge. And he's going to do a great tune tonight called Be My Baby Tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, once again, Jim Sims. <laughs> for Bob's Discount Furniture and is a single mother for one beautiful, with one beautiful daughter and they live together in Bellport. Laura is excited to have chosen to perform at the Patch Oak Theatre tonight. Singing is what she loves to do most after being a mother and she hopes that you will love her tonight. So ladies and gentlemen doing Last Dance, let's give it up for Laura Lorenzo. Yeah, she's good. Yeah, she's good. Let's 
Give her a nice round of applause, ladies and gentlemen. Last dance. How many people remember those golden days of disco? All of us. Let me see you all go like this. Come on, everybody in the house. Yeah. <laughs> Let's hear it. She did great. All right, you got it. Hey, by the way, our next uh, guest, Tony Della, performed with uh, top 40 bands at rock shows. Through the, 60s, uh, through the 60s through the 90s. He was asked to perform with the renowned bands of uh, such great people as Sammy K and the Glen Miller Orchestra. Currently, he's performing at many restaurant venues. And of course, if you go to Uncle Giuseppe's on Saturday or Sunday, you see this handsome guy strolling, singing these songs, and you say, who is that? And when he turns the corner while you're getting the mozzarella, he's still about that. And I gotta tell you, it is amazing when you go there. He's doing a great arrangement of a tune that's called In the Still of the Night, but not the one you think of, okay? This is completely different. It's kind of a Sinatra, a Billy Eckstein thing. And of course, ladies and gentlemen, we'd like to bring on one of Long Island's top vocalists. Let's give it up for the magical voice of Mr. Tony Della. Yeah! True. 
You know, throughout this uh, wonderful town here, we have so many fabulous, fabulous restaurants and uh, all kinds from high end Italian and just nice uh, sports bars. And you get a great hamburger, a great uh, meal. So, I just want to let you know this is a great town to be in. And we have such a fabulous mayor, Paul Pontieri, who does a fabulous job of all the wonderful people who work with him. I mean, they do a great job in this town. It's growing like crazy. It's such a wonderful place to be. Hey, our next artist is Deanna. Deanna Wade, and she's going to do a little tune called Down at the Twisted Shack. <laughs> Scared her out the boat and make a mess 
So I said quietly, agreeing politely. I guess that I forgot I had a choice, and make it push me past the breaking point. I stood for nothing. I fell for everything. You held me down, but I got up. Already brushing off the dust. You hear my voice, you hear that sound. Like thunder gonna shake the ground. You held me down, but I got up. Get ready, cause I had enough. I see it all, I see it all. So ladies and gentlemen, let's give it up for the lovely and talented Maria Kalamai. Kalamia! He touched me. <laughs> Nobody ever gets that right. He touched me. He put his hand in mine and then he touched me. I felt a sudden tingle when he touched me. A sparkle, a glow. He knew it. It was an accident. Smile, see. 
Nice girl, too. Man, I got the chills with that. Hey, right now we're going to bring on uh, Sue Berna. Where's Ray? Ray, you got your guitar? Ray, you got your guitar? Okay, here we go. You flat? We're going to do a little tune called God Bless America. So I'm going to ask everybody right now to stand up. Come on, everybody. And I need you all to sing out. Sorry. <laughs> I bet you can't wait to go home. <laughs> I want you to know that this is a voucher in here. You have to fill it out and give it back to me before you go home. But anyway, when I call your name, come up. You are one of the three $500 winners. I'm just going to do them in the order in which I have the envelopes. It's not first, second, and third. It's just the three top scores. Number one, Stephanie Walsh. Christopher John Del Gaudio.